Roll call, please. Councilman Zajac? Here. Councilwoman Renee? Here. Councilman Bordell? Here. Councilman Closes? Councilwoman Lewis? Councilman Calhoun? Mayor Brown? Here. As you obviously can see, there is no quorum tonight, so there will not be an official meeting. Um, I will be more than happy to answer any questions from anyone. Um, it will not be an official meeting, but uh, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions uh, to the best of my ability that I, that I can. I'm, I'm not an attorney, but um, and I don't play one on TV, but uh, I've, I've spoke to plenty over the last week. Mr. Wardell has something he'd like to read. Well, I, I, I received this letter here from uh, from Mrs. Tamara Brown, our municipal clerk, that she asked me to read at this meeting. Uh, since we don't actually have an official meeting, uh, this is just for public uh, public knowledge. And uh, I just I told her I would read it, so I'm going to give her wish. It says, to whom it may concern, I have lived here for 50 years. I chose to purchase a home and raise my family here because it is such a close knit community. My family has been involved with the community and multiple civic organizations for 30 plus years. I have been a dedicated and loyal employee in this borough for more than 16 years. I have put my heart and soul in the town on many levels. We have been through many changes, almost all of them good changes. With that being said, I have obviously been the target for Ms. Renee since she became a part of council because my husband is the mayor. I have documentation to back this up. The fact that the majority has asked me to do something that is against the law because of their irresponsible actions and allow my municipal clerk certification to face the possibility of any consequences leads me to believe that this will be their continued path and I will not partake in their actions. Within minutes, they have eliminated essential employees and professionals for personal political reasons. Therefore, I have no attorney to give a legal opinion or administrator to advise. Because of their poor judgment, I will not allow their decisions to allow my reputation, my certifications, or my integrity to be compromised. I pride myself on being a good, hardworking, and honest person. The direction that they are going, I do not want any part of it, and I will not allow them to change the person I am. With that being said, it saves me to submit this letter of resignation. I have enjoyed working with my fellow colleagues and residents for most of the governing body. My resignation will be effective immediately. Upon my separation from the borough, I am entitled to half of my accumulated sick time, as well as all my comp time. This time has been submitted to our CFO for prompt payment. It is with great sadness that I watch what was once a community become a town divided. Sincerely, Tamara Brown, Municipal Clerk, Register of Wealth Statistics, Office Manager, Payroll and Human Resource Manager, Pension Supervisor, etc., etc., etc. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to come out there and because this is not an official meeting, I'm going to loosen my tie. I'm going to ask anybody if you have any questions. Um, I know we have some concerns, and I want to tell you what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, this this was a pretty simple. This should have been a pretty simple way to go. Um, Irresponsibility, um, I guess, getting caught up in the no votes yesterday uh, on January 1st. As any of you were here, you saw many of them. Um, I care very much about the borough and our employees, as many of them are here. Um, it, it really saddens me that, that we had to end up here. This was a very, very simple fix. It very easily could have came tonight. We could have voted to either pass the, the resolution or they could have actually abolished it. Um, the fact that it was on the agenda on January 1st and it, action was taken on it, whether if it was passed, failed, or if it was tabled as it was, it became a legal document. Therefore, it needed to have action taken on it. Because, and then to force or threaten our clerk to do so is, is really, it's a shame. You see where it, what it did. Um, so with that being said, tomorrow, I've already spoke with my CFO. Um, whether, if the, whether if that resolution, as some people said, was necessary or not, that, that, that became irrelevant. The CFO of Neptune City presented that resolution for the agenda, just like last year, and last year it passed. Everybody got their check on the 15th or whatever it was. It was, it was no problem. I never, I wasn't surprised about some of the, the votes on, on New Year's Day. Um, that one really surprised me. I, I, they caught me, caught me a little off guard for, with that. Um, 
So I've been, I've been talking to uh, DCA, which is Division of Community Affairs, um, Local Government and Finance, and I will be contacting or maybe going to Trenton tomorrow um, or Wednesday to get official uh, authorization to make payroll. Because in reality, anybody who processes payroll from this point forward is, is violating the law. There's a, that resolution could have easily solved this. So I need to get a, a written opinion or, uh, or approval from Division of Local Finance um, so that who, you know, whoever's processing now, our payroll clerk is no longer here, so someone else will have to figure out how to process payroll in Neptune City. Um, we will get it done, I, I assure you. Um, but you know, that, that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So I, I apologize that we had to be here. Um, this could have been as easy a fix as anything. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm always in, and will always be for what's in the best interest of Neptune City in a whole. Not just those who voted for me or, and against those who didn't. Um, but that, that's not what it matters. It's, it matters everybody when you take that seat on that dais you rep I represent every resident, every children, and every business of this town. Whether if I eat in your restaurant or use you as a dry cleaner or, or I don't, I, I still represent you. And um, I, I've never told anybody no if they needed help, and I'll continue to do that. Um, so that's, that's what I have to say. Does anybody have any questions? Will the resolution ever get passed? <clears throat> Um, I, I can't guarantee that. I, I don't know. Will it come up again? Um, it, it will probably have to. Um, I will present it again. Um, hopefully on the 14th they will pass it. And then there will be no snafus. And, and if, you, if you take notice, I mean, the resolution, I don't know if everybody's seen it, if there's copies of it. It clearly states payroll. If you don't pass that resolution... We can't make payroll. If it didn't say payroll on there, it'd be no problem. We just wouldn't be able to pay, you know, the electric bill or, you know, things of that nature. But it's, it says payroll on it. Um, and it was on New Year's Day, it was made clear after it was offered and second for table that that included payroll and it still got tabled. So, yes, sir. Uh, in all fairness, and I, I'm very emotional right now, but in all fairness, I, I, I have about 40 questions. But all 40 of them would have to be answered by the people who are absent here tonight. All 40 of them, okay? So having said that, and seeing hopefully there's a reporter from the press here, please tell those four people, they don't just represent Democrats in that city, they represent me, they represent my wife, they represent everybody. Whether I vote for them or not is irrelevant. They are my elected officials, and I am extremely, extremely disappointed in their actions tonight. It was irresponsible. And never once, again, did they give any thought to the residents of Neptune City by taking this action. Otherwise, they would have just came here for a couple minutes and just taken care of it. And, I, and the reason, the reason I'm so emotional is that, forget about the fact that we don't have an administrator, we don't have an attorney, we don't have any professionals at all for the first time in 40 years in the month of January. We just lost the jewel tonight. Absolute goddamn jewel tonight. I mean, probably the only one that loves her more than me is you, okay? <laughs> and I am just so saddened that this unnecessary turn of events, this we versus us, it is so unnecessary. It is so unnecessary. We all live in Neptune City. Let's decide whether we want to represent Neptune City or do we want to represent our best interests. It would be an easy call for me and I think an easy call for some of you other folks. And, I've already spoken too much as it is. I'm sorry for that, but I'm just so, I am so disappointed when I see bad government, because I served a government. I know what good government looks like. It doesn't look like this, folks. It does not I apologize. look like this. That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just let me just uh, reiterate on this. You know, in the borough, you know, there's a, there is a, there's a chain of command. There's a process. There's, you know, there's, Policies we have to follow. There's ordinances that they're set in place for a reason um, We can't just you can't just do whatever you want. Um, I got some police officers out here You, you know Brad you, you guys when you guys are out on the road you, you have policies that you have to follow but under the guidelines of the law and under the guidelines of borough ordinances 
And on the top, we have state statutes. We can't, we can't change the way we do things because it's the way what we want to do if, if it's not legal. So I will continue to make sure that things are done legally in Neptune City. Um, contrary to what some people think, there, you know, there, there is a way, a certain way that government has to run. Um, and it's not one person. Um, it's not two people. It's, it's a governing body. And um, everybody has their role. Everybody has their, their responsibilities. And not, it's, it, they're set by ordinance and state statute. Um, our foreign government, you know, it, it, everything, is, everything follows the law. Um, because someone's opinion of what they think and, and their, uh, their thoughts on something, that doesn't mean that it's legal. So, yeah, like I said, I, I will continue to, unfortunately, you're right, we, you know, she refused to break the law. Yeah. And she was being threatened and, and, and terrorized that, that if she didn't do what she was told, instructed, that she would be, she would be dealt with. Um, I would, I would, anybody please, if all of this is in a week of emails through Neptune City, facts in emails, all, all of the stories that everybody want to hear, please open those emails, follow what those emails say. And the the complete, you know, ordering and threatening of to break the law because th that's what someone was telling them, mm. and you know that's got nothing to do with <clears throat> with this uh, resolution and in pay. But I, I assure you, and I've also reached out to the freeholder who said would help me with the division of uh, government and finance tomorrow. Um, to make sure we get a, a, a speedy answer and, you know, hopefully dispensation to, to get everybody paid. Um, and you got my word, I'll, I'll, I'll do everything that we possibly can. And that's why I said I got free old R known to, um, to come with me and uh, we're going to make it happen. But I have, we had to do this. This was the process. This governing body should, before I have to go ask, because we didn't do our job. The, borough, the governing body in Neptune City did not do the responsible thing. Mm -hmm. I have to now go and, and beg the state to, to give us approval to do this. So. Mayor, can I ask you a question? Do you have anything in writing, um, and I haven't asked you this before, um, have you, do you have anything in writing from anybody saying that has authorized, and you know the one person that I reached out to, I reached out, I, I asked you to reach out to was Joel, because obviously nobody, who knows more about that law than Joel in the state of New Jersey probably, and um, and I just don't know, I've, been, I've sat up there 25 years, take nothing away from your counsel, you, or anything like that, I've never seen any of this come about. Mm -hmm. I was always told, and from the day that I started here, that a resolution's a resolution, and, and it gives the ability for the governing body to allow staff to move forward with any type of expenses that have to be reduced. Obviously that's put in place for a reason because it's put into place so that obviously and take nothing away from your clerk or your administrator, they can't just can't randomly write out checks. Correct. Which they should. You're elected by the people, you're held accountable for those reasons. If we don't write checks. <laughs> Will I tell you um, 100% Am I, do I know the law? No, but I have to believe that, that that's the process that, it, that has to go by. Um, but you're being told different, and I, I, am, I hear that, and obviously I read it, but you're being told different. Is there anything in writing from another person, from a professional, not a no. council person? So, so I, I did see that um, there's a APP article yeah, out no, there. I, I don't care. It's a whole bunch of nonsense. Yeah. It, it really is a bunch of nonsense. It's it's. They contacted me. I was actually in the doctor's office today when they when they contacted me, um, and I did not get back to them. So I, it wouldn't really much matter because they would have yeah. put whatever they wanted anyway. But I, I, several statements, um, emails that, you know, the no, uh, I, on, I mean, on behalf I, of the I, governing I, body. I'm asking you from a professional so, attorney. Uh, that's what I'm getting to. So, and how DCA has said this and and. 
this one said there there's not one single and just so you know the, the DCA uh, would reach out to the municipal clerk our administrator unfortunately we don't have one right now mm -hmm. or the mayor um, they, the DCA doesn't work directly with a a, a single council person it, because a single council person has no authority in the borough of Neptune City the only time a council person has authority in Neptune City is when we are in a public meeting and they're sitting on this dais they they are not they do not have day-to-day -day operational and that's it's not made up it's by statute you can look it up it's and it's by ordinance that we are to that we have a borough administrator that op, that runs the borough on a day-to-day -day operation and 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 not one <coughs> person from the and I called the DCA today and I spoke to him you know nobody was issuing me a even the CFO would not issue a written letter saying that because he's his answer to the uh, to some people who were asking said it's it was the clerk's call this was the clerk's call that's what the CFO told them he, uh, you're not allowed to cancel meetings uh, a council person can't cancel a meeting that has been noticed and and set you can't you don't have they, we don't have the authority to do that um, so no I've got nothing in writing and that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow or the next day I'll make sure that you know uh, in every effort I can and, and beg and plead um, and and get some type of approval to get us to get us through this this should have been we shouldn't be here this should have been very simple um, if it didn't pass on New Year's Day it should have we should have passed here tonight in two minutes but unfortunately now I gotta we may have to go to traffic and beg it's easier if you're standing at their door it's hard for them to not answer the call you know Sorry, but yes. What is the DCA? Division of Community, Community Affairs, Consumer Affairs. Okay. That's uh, all of the different divisions of government. Okay. So uh, there's division of local government and finance. There's ethics. There's all of them. They're all different divisions. So I, we've got to talk to uh, local government and finance. Can I just ask a question? Because I, I came in late. I, mean, I know that Ted Wardell was talking about missing what did I? What did we miss? Um, somebody did. Oh, you missed it. Yeah. I, I don't I, think you want to. I don't, don't read it again. You're I don't want to read it again. Because it was not our, 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 our borough clerk uh, gave her resignation immediate, effective immediately this evening. She asked me to read a letter on her behalf. And again, I, I mean, I, I feel bad for the mayor being the only one speaking here. I, 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 as a member of council, I'm embarrassed. I, I really you know, want to give a, a sincere apology to all of our employees that have to go through this because you are all completely innocent in all this. It's, politics somehow has gotten involved in our town. I don't know when this has happened, that politics became part of our town. Um, the issue of this resolution, whether and, and, and it seems to be the main difference or, or, or disagreement now is whether it was necessary or unnecessary. Uh, our, our clerk felt it was, and that was her lawful duty to follow the law and, and follow what that resolution said. Um, my argument is that, that I, you know, whether whether it is or isn't, we don't have anybody to guide us right now to tell us one side is right or the other one isn't. Um, I said a really easy solution would be just to meet, and I said this when this meeting was first called. If we just meet, we can either vote for, vote against, or we can just scrap it all together. And any one of those would have satisfied the both parties, and we wouldn't be here talking about this. So I really, I'm, I'm just kind of perplexed as to why we're actually here right now. And, and happen to have this conversation, but I, I just would like to apologize on behalf of the governing body because I, I really am embarrassed, and, and, and I hope you all realize that I, I do work for you. I really do. I, I, I always have the best of intentions of my town involved, but I, I do apologize, and I am very sorry. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Yes, sir. A couple quick questions. Yep. <coughs> the uh, DCA meeting tomorrow involving the health, dental, and other insurance premiums, if they're not being paid, Maybe uh, former Mayor Waddell can answer this question. I know at the meetings I have to ask you. Um, are we at any any risk of losing our coverages or having anything suspended or anything like that? Any risk of have we breached out to them already? Yeah, and, you're, you're not at risk. In, in the, the biggest concern here is is the payroll. That is the that is the thing that is really there is no grace period on, and it's you know it's not like we whip out checks and sign them downstairs and give everybody a paycheck. There's a 
there's a, a several day process that goes through for payroll. So the 14th, which is our next scheduled council meeting, they're paid on the 15th. The 14th is too late to pass that to pass that resolution to process. So you need you need a few days to transfer money into the payroll because it's, uh, everything's direct deposit and all that. So nothing else is is in jeopardy. There's there's grace periods, if I could say, mm -hmm. in in all of those things, um, except payroll. You guys the other, the other thing is uh, the other thing is. Uh, Who's in charge now? Who, like, who do you speak to about certain things? I'm on the verge of retirement. I have nobody to speak to until, right to now. line things up. I need, the, I need a, actual answers of what things are going to cost me and all that stuff. I may have to pull my retirement papers and come back to work. If, if, if I can't get answers, if I can't get answers, and, I, and I'm a, I can't walk, I can't leave. Listen, we have no choice but to. To keep Neptune <laughs> City, you know, we have to Didn't keep Neptune City sure. moving. I, we I, can. People are laughing about it, but I, I'm I have other, other towns that I can reach out to, and will be more than happy to uh, advise us on things. Things like that are no good. problem. I, I just, I, I can't get a legal opinion yeah, from anyone I because I because we have no, we don't have, it. And don't take we don't have an attorney. Your opinion wouldn't, but is it you know I, I couldn't couldn't carry any teeth with it tell you the truth right. I'd have but to everything else money. we can I, you know we can get help I can you know I can go to Belmar I can go to Avon perhaps Mr. Popkin can help out very yeah very I'll, nice. I'll be reaching out to Mr. Popkin he's, sure. um, we know where you live <laughs> <laughs> um, I know I shouldn't come to this this <laughs> should be this should be hopefully all rectified quickly and I just one last thing is uh I don't want to be in violation of any borough ordinances, so I need to know where I can buy my dog licenses from. Well. <laughs> you can still buy them here. You can still sell them to me now? Yeah, yeah. Still okay. Sell them, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to violate any borough ordinances. No, 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 I understand. You want to charge a dog license? Yes. <laughs> Who is in part of the email? I would like to track down the email chain. Who's involved, exactly involved with the email chain within the last week? Um, a couple council members, the clerk. Do you have the exact names of everybody? I don't know because I actually stopped answering and even looking at them because I wanted to have no part of them because I know no good is going to come out of them. I stopped responding. I merely gave a couple of facts. You can eat, you can get mine too if you'd like. Um, but it is it is me. It is uh, Pamela Renee. It is uh, Michelle Lewis. Um, the minister, the clerk, uh, I think, I, and Mr. Wardell. Sergeant. Well, I believe it's every member of council except Mr. St. Jack, he was smart. Sergeant, yeah. on what date? <laughs> every member of whatever date you want. I don't know exactly what date you can. Sorry, last year, this no, year? No, this is January very, this January 1st, is, okay. This is very, this is very recent, yes. Okay. You know I like to track things down. Yeah, go get them. Yeah. yeah. Go get them. Yeah, all you gotta do is open. Yeah. You know how to do that. Yeah, the only problem is when you come in to Oprah them. There's nobody. By there. the way, that the clerk was the Oprah clerk also. So. Yeah, right. I, I, as this is government. How do you like it? This this is what we this is where we are. I apologize, but you know we will. We'll move forward. Oh, yes, sir. Find it kind of troubling that that someone tried to delay or postpone uh, payroll for the guys who work here, the guys and girls who work here every day. You know, so I, I find that troubling right out of gate. Uh, and where's the borough attorney? And where's the borough administrator? And we're starting out a whole year with nobody in place. Correct. How this is happening? That is correct. That's kind of unacceptable, I think. You know, what I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not a political guy. I'm not a Republican, a Democrat, and all that. I'm for Neptune City as well, just like you are. And I voted for who I thought I wanted in there. And whether they got in or not, that it's kind of irrelevant. But the gentleman made a, a comment in the beginning that we're supposed to all be on the same team, you know, for the good of what this town represents, you know. And there's a lot of good people in this town. And there's a lot of people who are going to get hurt. And I would be angry if I was on the payroll waiting for a check and, and it wasn't coming, you know, oh, because angry. it's not <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's just you're not sure what's going to happen if it's going right. to happen. Well, it shouldn't even be a discussion. <laughs> we should not. You're right. We should not be here. Right. So 
just so you guys, just so everybody knows, it's unacceptable. Um, the memo that was sent out on New Year's Day, under my directive, um, you can look in the statute, um, the mayor and the borough form of government is the head of municipal government. Um, I directed the clerk to notify the department heads. That is our responsibility to notify that that happened. And to, for us to have not done that would have been irresponsible on our part. It was already enough irresponsibility done. So there, there is an extensive email list, and I'm not gonna go over all that stuff tonight, but the emails went on for days, and they were, some of them very professional, others not, not so professional. Um, and you know, it, it, it led us up to today. But, you know, like I said, I'm, we're, we are going to go make, we're gonna write this, we'll make it, we'll fix it. Um, I got, like I said, we're gonna have to go beg, make some phone calls, um, but, you know, we will make it, we'll get everybody paid. Um, until that resolution's passed, I don't know that, you know, we might be on our 30 day lead time for health insurance payments but uh, there's state health benefits anyway, so, you know, unless they pass that too, then, you know, this way they get their, their premiums. But, um, I, I, again, I apologize. You know, it, this, this, is not a, um, this is not an official meeting. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just here as the mayor, want, you know, if anybody wants to ask anything, even not related to this, this is an opportunity. I, I gave up my night to be here for more than, half hour so uh, you know if there's a meeting I'm always expect I'm always figuring I'm giving up some time you know I have a question about tomorrow you say you're going tomorrow yes Do you have um, like an appointment with somebody or you're just gonna walk in the door I mean uh, both we do yeah. not have I do not have an official appointment yet mm -hmm. but we're you know if anybody knows anything about Trenton sometimes you gotta go oh, you gotta go through a couple of doors before you get <clears throat> to the right one this is why and, I'm asking you. Because you say yeah. you're going there tomorrow. It may not happen tomorrow. So. Uh, we, we should have an answer, hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday. And that's still time to process. When, when is, what is D-Day? When, when is uh, we have to have an answer to make sure we're getting paid on the 15th? Thursday. And I'm going to tell you right now, I will notify every department head the minute we get the approval to do so. Okay? Uh, you have my word. and. Uh, we, we will notify every department head and, and employee that is not, you know, in a union or anything. You guys will all get notified. But you have my word. And if anybody knows me, I don't know if any of if I've ever let anybody in here down yet. Yeah, but Bobby, what I'm saying too is about they're not going to be paid. You're talking about their benefits. They're getting paid. There's, but I'm, I'm saying like their um, insurance <coughs> premiums and everything comes out of their paychecks as well too. Correct. I mean, so it is going to affect the health insurance and everything else down the line if, yeah. if it is what my concern is. You say, oh, we're I am, I am health concerned about it. If they can't pay their premiums. I am, I am concerned about it, yeah. but it's I'm, not just the payroll, it's your I'm confident insurance. that we will get approval. It's just, you know, I can't, I can't go out there and ask for approval on something that we should have fixed. That's what I'm getting at. But tonight, if this resolution was passed, I, I wouldn't have to go to Trenton as the mayor of Neptune City and say, yeah, we, you know. Is there any recourse, like, I don't know, to get these certain people to show up? I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand government. But I don't understand their responsibility, like say, of them not even showing up. I don't know. So one of them called and canceled the uh, called APP and canceled tonight's meeting. Uh -huh. That they is a serious, them. serious violation, right. and right. Uh, the attorney general's office is very interested in that. You cannot cancel a, 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 a noticed meeting. You're not allowed to do that. Who is that person? I don't know. I don't know who canceled. So he's going to be taking time out of his job during the day to, yes, to fix their mistake 
something that should have been done. And maybe not and one day, maybe take one Who two is caring about Neptune mm -hmm. City right now? Right now. That man that's sitting up there. Right now. And those other mm -hmm. reasons. <laughs> Well, I, I go to, uh, as our former mayor of Freehold would know, I go to uh, Trenton and other areas a lot more often than you think. There's, there's a lot of time that comes out of my day, which, until I became mayor, you never realize how much time they, you really do, you know. Um, so, I don't put in as much time as Freeholder does. But, uh, <laughs> There's going to be some recourse for the voting booth. The recourse, <laughs> the recourse right now is not on my is, is not my no, objective. My objective is I understand. to to make this to fix this. You have my word. I will do everything in my power and in the power of every favor I have and every legislator I know to to get some side of. But like I said, <clears throat> that resolution on New Year's Day became a legal document. Mm -hmm. That is the bottom line. It became a legal document. So it is not allowing mm -hmm. us to make payroll, to process payroll. So what power do they have? I mean, Who's that? The ones who ever did this. I don't even know what happened. Well, so, so, so when, when, when the offers <laughs> need to, to table the resolution, um, uh, it was it was brought up that there was an issue with one particular part of the resolutions. I, I was uh, I was sitting up there, so I heard everything that was going on. And uh, what could have been done was say you could have just removed that particular part of the resolution and still put the resolution through. And that's why I said, and it's on the record, this is a bad idea. I said it that day. And you said this, this, this bad, includes payroll. This includes payroll. So it it, it, it was said. I said it right there from that seat, and, and and it still went on. And I don't think there was a whole lot of thought put into it. Um, and so that's why this special meeting was called. Uh, all parties agreed, and then as the week went on, people decided that it wasn't necessary. And, and I, I, again, I, 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 I responded to emails saying, regardless of whether the resolution was necessary or not, it was legal action. It needs, it needs to be taken, and I would rather be taken now than wait till the 14th to do it, because then we won't have an issue. And when, like I said before, you either pass it, or we could have removed it altogether, and still would be okay. It would be that would satisfy the payroll clerk enough to then issue payroll. But until then, the clerk was not going to risk her license and her career to do so. Because in her mind, without any legal, you know, advice, she was breaking the law, and she was following it to the letter of law, protecting herself and protecting the borough at the same time. At least that's what she believed she was doing. Maybe we'll find later on it wasn't necessary to do, but without any legal counsel, we didn't know. Yes, uh, even the, like they said, that resolution was it wasn't created by the clerk or the administrator. No. It that is a resolution that is provided by the CFO. And just if anybody would like to check the 2018 New Year's Day reorg meeting, that same resolution was on 2018 New Year's Day. It wasn't new. It wasn't like something that just got created for this right now. It should have been a standard resolution that got passed. So, again, you know, I'm, uh, you know, Do you blame, know, push and blame, or anything like well, that. Who's running is, this uh, town? Who's running this town? These, these people. Well, the, 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 the governing body runs the town. So you have six members of the well, council. Well, people are doing right? something to destroy a town. Well, impeach them. I, I honestly don't take a vote on it. I, I don't want to assume that anybody was doing something to purposely well, destroy a town. Well, it sounds like to me. I'm gonna, you know. I, I mean, I understand your frustration. I'm just people ain't being paid. They're supposed to be paid, and these four people over there. Are I, running I, the town or the mayor's running? You guys, who's I, running I the agree. town? Well, the, the, the Impeach town him. <laughs> well, I want to do that to Trump, so do it to them. Yeah, yeah. I, unfortunately, I don't have that. So let, let me answer that. Oh, you know, I'd, well, I'd rather hang the bastards. The, <laughs> the, the, town, is run, the town is run on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not like it's being run right to me. By the bar with four people up here telling everybody what to do. Nobody's doing nothing about it. Just talking bullshit. Take some action. You tell her. I'll take some goddamn action. I'll kick him in the ass. <laughs> Put it on the record, too. <laughs> you ain't standing up to these pieces of shit. Uh-oh. All right. Thank you, sir. The Democrats. Pieces of shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I said my well, opinion on the Trump. Yeah. Throw these bastards out. Like, want to destroy the town. Not pay these people. These cops are doing a good job. That's right. Come on. Stand up for them. Get rid of these bastards. They want to destroy the town. If they're doing this, they want to destroy this town. And people like that should be destroyed. It's going to happen in this country soon. 
Because people like me ain't gonna stand for this shit no more. I know, I know. I said my shit. <laughs> Thank you. Can there be a special council meeting? Can, can in between the This is one right here. Well, another one. There's not you don't want to sit here for an hour or so there's, else again? There's not enough time to notice this there's not enough time to notice for a special another special council meeting. Have the council meeting and pass the resolution in time to not because we don't want to meet. It's, 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 you, know, this, you have to advertise we are, a certain amount are, of time. We are bound by you know certain amount of hours of notification and things of that nature. And you know, Mr. Mayor, this may sound like a silly question, but you go to Trent tomorrow and you get approval, and they say that it's okay to pay us. We have no clerk now. We have no administrator. We have no lawyer. We'll make it. Who, who's paying us? We'll make it happen. Trust me. I've already reached out. To, to make sure we have somebody that, you know, that uses the similar program. And um, I know the clerk has left almost everything in place. It should not be, she wouldn't do that to you. I, 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 She's got everything just about in place where it's gotta be, she, you know. She wouldn't, she wouldn't. So whoever we get to come in and do it, it will be a pretty simple thing, but we just can't. You can't, yeah. just can't process, can't move money from one bank to another, but, you know. <coughs> and I'll, I'll keep in touch with you guys, you know, you can, you all have my cell phone number, too. Do you know the official reason why they didn't show up? Unimportant. Huh? No, I don't know that there's Unimportant. an official reason that they didn't show up, but... Clearly, clear, clearly, whether my wife and children eat this month is not important to them. So, whether my mortgage gets paid on the fifteenth is not important to them. Clearly, well, I, I do believe they they think there was they, they canceled the meeting. Yeah. But they were notified multiple times because I read their APP. They a lot of time to write the APP articles and do all that stuff and make all kinds of nonsense up, which is not it's not true. It's you know uh, the fact is. Come tonight, we did a special meeting, which was necessary, very simple. We, we'd be gone. We, we'd all be home, everybody wouldn't be worried about a thing. Um, I could actually go and, and, and to work tomorrow and, and you know, maybe make, make some money. money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everybody here tonight should show up next week when they're going to be here and ask them why they decided to vote it down or to table it, whatever the hell they did. <coughs> but everybody that's here tonight should be there and ask them those questions. Unfortunately, next week may not be a good time because the, the borough still does not have a an attorney. So I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'd, I'd be very reserved what would what we would actually be able to say because I, I have no legal advisor. Um, and you know I don't I don't want to say things that are that are not accurate, and I don't. You know I. I would recommend you. And he would come to the meeting anyway, but I don't know that it's a, a meeting to. They all need to answer. Right? And they all need to answer why they weren't here to an, uh, answer questions. I believe they the think they they so. have the authority, although told multiple times they do not, to cancel the meeting, and they in and I think it's just. That's all. They 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 think it's okay. And I'm they guilty. I've meeting. never been to a council meeting, but I'm going oh, to be so damn excited. sure to be back here <laughs> because I need to know. I need to understand what's going on and read again. Is this what on all Facebook. council meetings are going to be like now? It's I like disarray. No. Um, I will do my I will do my best to keep them as organized and. When, That's my responsibility. I, I, as the mayor, I run the council meeting. So I'm supposed to keep order. When will you get the lawyer? Well, so it's not uncommon when you see a change from one party to another to, to replace professionals. So I, mean, not, I can't knock anybody for doing that. You want to bring your own people, and I understand that. But I think that some of the, the, the new majority was under the impression that 
our whole our professionals would be holdovers until we got new ones for a month. But their most of their contracts ended December thirty first. We'd have to enter into a new contract. I, I, again, I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's an issue. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So, that, uh, you know, they they thought that you know you just hold over, but. If you're not hired, if you're hired by contract, um, and your contract ends December 31st, you can't come in on January 1st because uh, my borough administrator, Mr. Henry Underhill, I have to uh, apologize. Um, Mr. Underhill has done a really good job um, guiding us, um, very knowledgeable, 35, 39 years, um, and to my surprise, on January 1st, they did not reappoint the borough administrator. So he doesn't just, his, by not being appointed by ordinance, Mr. Underhill, although had a contract till the end of next year, he had, he now has absolutely no authority in Neptune City. He can't approve anything, and he's, the, your borough administrator runs the day-to-day -day operations. It's not a council person, it's not two council persons, it, it doesn't work that way. It's, you, you hire, and we have, by ordinance, we, we have that, we hire a borough administrator. But Mr. Underhill is here tonight anyway, um, and I thank you for being here. Um, but, you know, he's, He's really one of our right hands downstairs, and he's not happy right now about that letter that was written because they were a pretty good team. And I don't think any real consideration was taken for what is in the best interest of Neptune City. It, you know, I was told that, you know, <clears throat> you know the, the, the people spoke and they voted for change. It was about 20 votes between the council members, okay? So about 1,000 to 980. So on New Year, when you sit on that dais, you don't have to only represent the 1,000 that voted for you that, that may have wanted to see something. You have to, you represent the other 980 who didn't. So you, you, rep, you still represent everyone, and they kind of like the way things are. Maybe they, you know, maybe they did, Maybe they didn't, but you have to you have to serve you serve everyone, and I I just think the total disregard with every, just they, they didn't even I didn't even get approval on New Year's Day for my volunteers. I have no office of emergency <coughs> management in Neptune City right now, no office of emergency management. So I have no shade tree. I have no environmental committee. I have no drug alliance. These are people who've been volunteering for years in Neptune City. And they're, they're, none of them got approved to be, you know, and they're, they're volunteer positions. It's not like they're paid. Not, these are people who take time out of their lives. They've taken time out of their lives for years. And I don't even, I don't know what's going to do. I was told that um, in 30 days, by statute, they will appoint who they want. Because they are the majority. I don't know who they want. It's well, it's it's not. It's what it's it's what they want, and that's their that's what they told me. So I I can just say I will I will sit there and I will do my job to the best of my ability. Um, we are uh, what's considered a weak form of a weak mayor form of government in Neptune City. So <clears throat> what that means is I do not vote on the dice. We have six council and one mayor. I do not vote unless there's a 3-3. Three, three. Then I can, I may break a tie. I don't have to. I have the, op, I have the option to break a tie. Um, and <coughs> when the council is in a public meeting, advertised legitimate public meeting, and they make quorum, which we didn't tonight, so <coughs> this isn't really a, a, it's not official meeting, so, and, and they make quorum, and then that is when the majority has, con that's when they have control, and that's when they have authority to pass resolutions, which they failed tonight to do, um, to uh, create borough ordinances, to uh, hire, fire, things of that nature. On this, 
meeting is adjourned, no single council member runs Neptune City. And that's not, I didn't create it. That's by law, by statute. Um, not even, and some of it by borough ordinance. Like I said, our borough ordinance has a, a borough administrator to, and I, I asked them to just extend him on January 1st to a point, and then you could let him go anytime you wanted. You're still gonna have the, if you short, if you uh, breach a contract, you still have under New Jersey contract law, and, and his contract, he's gonna be paid for 90 days if you break his contract early. Um, they could have waited until they got somebody else in, and then just went and said, listen, you know, you're out of here next week. You know, he he's really was working at, uh, you know, at their discretion. What's, what's considered a quorum? Like, four. what's the not four? Okay. On resolutions, it's four, correct? Yeah. Three and, and myself could be. Well, if there was five people here, though, then three would be, like, it, you just need half plus one. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, thank you for coming out. Oh, one quick question. Yes, sir. I saw an online last night, and I don't know why it was brought into the political parties on last night by a certain party, I'm not gonna get into that. But why, what, have they given you any kind of documentation themselves? Because apparently last night they're saying that they spoke with professionals and things like that. But if that's true, and they have these, uh, an opinion that they're that they're saying, where's the written documentation? Yeah, the freeholder asked that before. And okay. again, I, you know, I spoke to, <clears throat> myself, I spoke to multiple attorneys when after you're doing this for a few years, you. You know, you, you, you run into other attorneys in other towns and you know these guys. And um, I called everybody I, everybody I knew that I could call and ask a question, they wouldn't send Neptune City a bill. Um, <laughs> it's not like free legal advice. Um, but they're not, our, they're not our attorneys, so they, they can't give us, they wouldn't, you know, they can't give me a legal uh, advice. Um, and I, I hear that other people did too, and they spoke to the DCA. And the, but I've received nothing as of today. The Nord has the uh, the clerk. There was nothing sent on the administrator's email. I have nothing stating this. The CFO of the town who presented the, this resolution said it may not be necessary, but it's the clerk's call. Once once he's he's not even going to. You know, he's not going to write a, a an opinion on it as the CFO because it was taken action on on New Year's Day, and it was irresponsible. And I, you know, maybe just because if you know if you've never been in municipal government, you really don't know what you're doing. You know, you can ask questions instead of just follow your, you know, we'll follow the line or whatever you want to call it. Well, I just want to thank you and Councilman Wardell and Councilman Zajac for being here tonight. Uh, yes, 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 thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I try not to ever let you down. And the free order. I, I, just one quick question. So yes, sir. I, so I understand where you're coming from. Any member of that governing body, including Councilman Wardell, if they said to you, oh, I just spoke to the governor and the governor said it's fine. You can't accept that because there's no backup documentation to that statement. And it's Correct. that simple, right? You, right. you cannot accept the word of any one of those governing body members. Just at face value. Correct. Okay. I mean, if, if, you know, if, like, like I said, if you get a legal opinion, they, you know what they say about opinions. Yep. Yeah, right. You know, and if it's not in writing and he's not actually representing you, that legal <clears> opinion <throat> means nothing. Because I have a lot of friends who think they're attorneys. You know, they always want to give advice, but um, I and I, when people ask me stuff like that, my advice is ask the attorney. I don't. I'm not an attorney. So. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. Take a big thank you from the Tammy. Okay. I will. She's upset. Yeah. She's That's not good. Yeah. No, I'm glad. But she's she's set, she's set. Oh, man. Fortunately, uh, <laughs> <laughs>